Last year was a solid year for the venture capital market investing community in Canada with more than $800 million invested just in the first quarter. But those in the industry say that 2016 will be even stronger. And one company that you might not think of as an investor in tech startups is global insurance provider Aviva. Here to explain why the company is on the search for talent is Aviva's chief information officer, Ben Izada Ritchie. It's been good to be with you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, the, it is quite interesting when we, when we saw this story that this global insurance company just launched, Canada Ventures, yesterday. Mm -hmm. You were looking Looking for talent here in Canada. Explain exactly why and how this dovetails with the company's overall strategy. Sure. So, so um, at Aviva, we're kind of a large global insurer. We're looking to try and evolve for our customers as as the market changes. So, as customers become more tech savvy and they're looking to engage with insurance companies in different ways, we're looking to help evolve the products that we sell and change the way in which we engage with customers. And one of the ways in which we're looking to do that is get access to startup businesses that are trying to disrupt, disrupt the industry and change the way in which um, people interact with technology or leverage technology to change the way in which people live their lives. So Aviva Ventures is essentially um, a wholly owned venture capital business inside Aviva that's designed to give us access to invest to interesting businesses that are operating in areas that are of interest to us. So things like connected homes, connected vehicles, generally the kind of internet of things, big data, analytics, customer propositions, hmm. uh, particularly around um, platforms around things like the sharing economy and things that are of interest to us as they change the way in which people need insurance, buy insurance, oh, that's and live their lives. So from a sharing economy, you want to make sure that you would be essentially the go-to insurance company for this sharing environment that we're in. Yeah, and in Canada, we're already, we were the first insurer in Canada to offer ride-sharing insurance. You know, we're keen to be the company that is there to help customers as, as their needs evolve, um, as the world is changed by technology, we're keen to be the, co the company that are there at the forefront of that helping give our customers what they need. How dramatically are you seeing those changes? I mean, we see it more from, and we talk about it from the Airbnbs of the world, the Ubers of the world, but give us a sense in terms of how dramatically this is shifting on the tech side and the needs and, and where we're at versus what the needs are. I mean, I think the, the, the needs are um, clearly changing. You know, you see as, the, as autonomous vehicles start to become a key, a key uh, reality, people are gonna need different coverage. They're gonna need to think about insurance in different ways. As connected devices start to control different things in our homes, we need to think about how as an insurance company we shift towards thinking about prevention and preventing kind of loss events away from protection, which is a kind of more hmm. where our business is today. And what we're really trying to do with uh, Aviva Pitch Day, which is our, our kind of our event we've set up here in Canada, is to create an opportunity for startups that are looking for investment to come and pitch to our, uh, the, the MD of our ventures business and a number of a panel of, of, of advisors to give them the opportunity to access those funds and give us the opportunity to see how we might work with those businesses to create value for the 34 million customers that we have across mm. the globe. Um, let's talk a little bit about why Canada. This is the first time that you have invested or looked to do this outside of the UK. Why Canada? Why not Silicon Valley? Are you specifically looking at Waterloo or where else? So, I mean, I, I'm new to Canada. I moved to Canada in August last year, and I've been really kind of pleasantly surprised about the vibrancy of the, of the startup economy that's going on, particularly here in Toronto, but across Canada. So we've partnered with the DMZ at Ryerson University to, to start to work with that community, find ways to support them and, and find opportunities for people in our business to experience leading edge ideas that are being uh, turned into businesses by that community. So uh, I think it's a really interesting space. I think it's a disappointment, which should be a disappointment for Canada, that so much of the, uh, of the talent in this space tends to gravitate towards the US, particularly when Toronto is such a, I think, such a great hotbed for this kind of this kind of innovation. Why do you think it gravitates to the states? What are you seeing in terms of how we're currently operating that would lead people to move to the states as opposed to stay here? I, the reason I hear is there's just not enough money or funding, but you might be helping to change That's, that. I think that was probably probably be part of it, but I think um, from from my perspective, there's Canada's a great place to do business. We have a fantastic business here. We think there are big opportunities to grow and innovate, and we're keen to work with that community to to, to do that. Um, so if people are interested in, in, in trying to access these funds, we've set up a, a website, aviva, aviva, uh, avivapitchday.ca, 
where people can go and understand how they would get involved, how they, how they would be able to apply for funding from this from this mm. fund. Um, is there an actual day or... There is, will be a day. Or is it all online because it's all about tech? <laughs> no, there will be a day. So the idea is essentially we're going to ask for submissions. People can submit their ideas to us now. We're really looking for businesses that are at some, some stage of maturity, perhaps got some funding already, but are looking to take that next step. So we're having a day, I think it's in October later this year, where we'll take the top 10, 15 ideas that are being offered to us and we'll put those together uh, as, a, as a kind of pitch, where they'll pitch to investors, they'll get their opportunity to, to talk to the hmm. Viva Ventures um, leadership team to see whether it's an appropriate investment for us to make. Ben, aside from Ryerson, um, have you gone to Waterloo? And you know, the reason why I ask that is we, we do do a few interviews from there and, and we, we take a look at all the people who have been displaced uh, by BlackBerry mm -hmm. and, uh, and that are setting up new companies there. And a lot of those, not a lot, but some of those companies have gone public to some yeah. success. So. Have you made your way that way? Uh, personally, I've spent more time in Toronto. I came from, came from London where fintech is a booming kind of startup economy. And I think the thing that really makes London a success is the financial center is right next to the Silicon mm. roundabout part of London where so tech and finance come together to create this fintech explosion. Hmm. One of the things I like about Toronto and particularly incubators like the DMZ in the city is the proximity they have to the financial services industry. So I think when you, when you have those two things side by side, geographically, mm. that creates opportunities that perhaps if you're further away from the city, you don't necessarily have. So that for me is why uh, you know, I, think, I think areas like um, DMZ right. at Ryerson really work. Okay, Ben, great to be with you today. Thanks so much, very, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.